There are hundreds of thousands of students that attend universities and colleges all throughout Southern California. And this week we've started to see the trickling effect, but today it has really hit. Colleges and campuses across the board are calling in-person classes off and they're moving things online. We've been around since the 70s, and so we know what it takes to provide a quality product to our students. On Friday, we all received an email from the provost stating that they were going to implement a trial run in which uh, the professors and students will not come to campus and everything will be taught online. Make sure desk mic is muted. You don't have to roll the logo, you're just slating it and then you switch the PC. Hit that, uh, you see that little circle right underneath file? Go there. program. Okay, so currently we have a number of classes that are being recorded live, one, two, three, four, five, six in particular. All the professors, uh, minus one, oh, two actually, are teaching remotely. Some of them are not familiar with WebEx, which is the uh, application that we're using to record our classes. A lot of it is just logistically speaking, us starting the WebExes and waiting for professors and then trying to help them navigate how to use the WebEx and share their screen so that all the participants, i.e. their students, are able to um, view the lecture slides. These three things that I have here are the most commonly used. Uh, instructors need to identify new ways of teaching that are kind of focused on, on the online world. Uh, the notion of having to take a paper and pencil exam, for example, we've been trying to find new solutions for them to replace that. Oral presentations, any different new way of assessment. The instability of testing centers across the country as well as the entire world has uh, shaken up the way we've had to administer these exams. One of our professors that uh, we actually created an online version of his test for, so he gave us um, a Microsoft document file of all of the questions that he had for his exam, and we basically uh, transferred them onto our learning management systems quiz tool. So it's not just about supporting faculty. Um, now we're bringing on all of the students. Before, it was just a, our online students that, that we were supporting essentially in that office, but because everyone technically now is an online student, um, we're supporting all of them. So we're still following the class schedule as I mentioned earlier. Um, classes have to still end on time and then they all start universally, not universally, but they, all of the classes here start on time. There are some professors who have received training who have been pretty rock solid during this test. So you want to click on that access to online lecture? I um, mean you're going to be using a computer for audio so that's good. What we like to do is try to use a headset or something okay. rather than our mic so we're closer to what you would have at home. We did send out a kind of a, a blast to all of our faculty with this is going to be our plan please reach out to us if you want to get support for teaching your class online. And so we've had faculty come in. We do a brief consultation. This is kind of what we've identified as, as your teaching style, and this is what we propose. After that, we do a dry run with them, either in the classroom um, with the new equipment or from their home. Obviously, we would prefer from their home because that's going to be their actual environment. Where you want to begin the scanning, so the unit However many classes are right now, they have that many number of WebEx instances going. And so they're also joining in as a support person, essentially. So any student or, I guess, even an instructor who has any issues, we always ask them to communicate via chat if they can. And so we have teams here looking and monitoring it. 